In November of 2017, Sony launched an initiative through their awards program. Earn platinum trophies, earn credit in the PlayStation Store. But this made them too powerful. They announced the program would end on November 7th, 2019. It is now one man's mission to earn as many platinum trophies until that day arrives, before it is all for naught. This is... Platinum Peter Piper picked a pep pick a Damn it, you got me. Alright, there's another video I've done with this. Uh, I'm a little annoyed because I just recorded a video in cat lateral damage and uh, it didn't save after 42 minutes and three bonus levels. That's that's fine, whatever. Uh, hey, there's another Platinum Project. This is uh, One Piece Pirate or One Piece World Seeker. You can hear my PS4 in the background. I apologize. It is very loud with this game for some reason. It's not even that like graphically demanding of a game. Um, I'm currently at 82%. Um, so I'm missing a couple key ones. We're missing, um, reach pirate rank 100. So that means get karma with everyone. Um, uh, so I need to do a special secret mission here that's only available during chapter, chapter 15, but like chapter 15 is past the point of no return, if that makes sense. Um, so if I want to keep free roaming, I'm in chapter 14. It's very dumb. Uh, defeat 40 Navy Leaders, that's not too hard. This one is also Navy Leaders. And then this one is 75 CP9 Agents, and also 75 CP9 Agents, and a side mission that I have to do. Um, but other than that, so that'll, that's Pirate Skill Level 100, that's nothing. That'll, I'll get that from, from normal gameplay. Uh, learn All Skills, so this is this one. Um, I'll do this right now, actually. Um, so I still need, I don't even know how much, like thousands of SP, which is annoying. I don't like when you beat a game and it, there's no real good way to get a bunch of things. So I could keep repeating the story, but that's boring as shit. So hopefully that'll come over time. If not, I'll have to grind for it, which I don't want to. I went very hard in the armament hockey um, part of uh, this and all the generic stuff as well. I did not really focus on the speed. Uh, so on top of that, 30 perfect dodges and 30... Um, uh, perfect uh, guards so you can see, actually track these which I'm honestly impressed um, so I've almost got the perfect guard one I could probably do that one to, like right now uh, I've just been sort of doing it as I go this one sucks and I think they set this trophy way too high um, total gum gum rocket airtime I'm at 13 minutes 34 seconds the trophy's for 30 minutes I've already beaten the game and done a bunch of end game t content and I'm not even halfway I'll show you exactly what that means too so this is gum gum rocket one Mississippi, two Mississippi. You see my issue now. Um, it's like it's good to move around. And I like doing it, but getting half an hour is ridiculous. And then if I do this, it doesn't count. That now breaks the gum gum rocket. So even though I'm still in the air, it doesn't count. So they want you to literally do this, which I mean, okay, but I have to do this for another what, 15 minutes? That seems excessive. Even then, that was what, 10 seconds? So. Uh, and then there's Ask Straw Hat Pirates Go Exploring 12 times. I actually need to go back and trigger that right now. Um, so this is one of the mechanics of this game. Because you only control Luffy, except for the DLC, which I think you control Zoro in, and then there's DLC coming up, where you're going to be able to control Sabo. Um, then, so you have to have them go exploring. That's not too bad. The trophy that I'm missing, uh, or the last trophy that I'm looking at, is easily the worst one, I think, in this game. Um, if not, the airtime with the gum gum rocket might be worse, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So yeah, you can talk to all of them once a day, and they'll give you, like, a free material, which is fine. And then, um, Sanji will, like, show the exploration missions. They're f fine, they're just not that fleshed out. Um, so I'll give you some cool materials, depending on what you, um, you give him for his boxed lunch. Um, I'm giving him garbage just so he comes back faster. Uh, so the Zoro again. Also, I need bronze. So that you can give them high quality stuff, and then they'll come back. Uh, it'll take twelve hours, but they'll get really good stuff. Or you can do it for like an hour, and they'll give you eh. Um, so I like doing that one because I'm trying to just get this out. Um, so database. 
Uh, I think it's items. Explore request 11. So that was my 11th one. I only need to do one more. That also brings us to the last trophy. Uh, open all, all 200 chests in the game. Which I fucking hate when games do this. Treasure chests are fine. I don't mind grinding for them. But if you're going to make me get a ridiculous number like 200, don't make me collect every single one. Especially when your game does a terrible job hiding them. So there's ups and downs to this one. Um, on the one hand, they show you how many treasure chests you've gotten in each area. On the other hand, there are some that are tied to quests that they don't show you. Like, I've run up and down Ruby Village, uh, like, fucking 100 times, and I've only, I can't find that last one. And then, um, I was actually working on Emerald Town when I stopped. The, the other reason that this is bad is that um, the checkpoint system in this game is very uh, old school. In that, if you die, you go back to your literal last checkpoint, like from, that you get from an auto save. So if you run through here, grab a bunch of chests, and then you die on the last second. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. I ran through this part, and then ran through this part as well, and I died here, and still had to go back, and I lost all the progress I made here, which is bullshit. And I don't like that. That's that's not a difficulty thing, except for some cases. That's that's just a shitty quality of life thing. Like if you've got auto save, just fucking you know, make it happen. Like this is ridiculous. So yeah. That's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I'm going to try and do the perfect dodge one. Um, or perfect uh, guard one. It's not too, too hard. I might do that while I run around looking for treasures. So I, I could follow a guide. Um, I'm not against it. But the other thing is I still need to kill Navy leaders and CP9 agents, which are semi-hard to find. They're in most of these areas. They're just not, like, plentiful. There's some in the main quests that are a little bit more easy to find. But, again, I'm going to leave that till the end. So, yeah, it's not too bad. This is the fourth platinum, or fourth platinum, no. This is the fourth video for a One Piece game I've done. And if I get it, it'll be my sixth platinum? Fifth? I don't know. Or I guess no. Hang on, I think I have, Pirate Warriors 1 platinum. I have, um, what's it called? Pirate Warriors 1, I have the, that unlimited, no. What the fuck is the, Burning Blood, that's the one. I was like, there's a fighting game. I have that one. I don't think I have another one, though. So yeah, the other thing is, I'm kind of made of paper, which is partly my own design, so it's partly my own fault. Um, my incoming melee damage is very well reduced. My range damage is bad. So this doesn't. So this is both gunfire and when an enemy will just like attack me. So I might actually equip one of these. I don't mind bringing my attack down if it means. Uh, let me see. So this would be... That's the better version of that. Um, yeah, I don't mind bringing my attack down a little bit. If it means my... Yeah, it's going to be a huge attack loss, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm tired of getting kicked around. I need to lower my... Um, my, da my incoming damage, because guns really get me. The healing rate's not bad. Um, like, it heals pretty quickly. Um... The problem is it's pointless to uh, to keep attacking every grunt, except just to get them out of the way. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing the slight hit in my attack. Alright, so, um, if you look in the bottom right, and you can see the mini-map, you can actually see the, um, uh, you can see the treasures on the map, which is helpful. And then if you do this, you can sort of see their outline. You can see them glow, but there's other, like, objects that also glow. So it's not foolproof. Um, but it's not bad either, so I'll give him credit for that one. Alright, I don't actually need that many things. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try and do the perfect guard. With snipers, it's somewhat easier. I'm going to make sure only they can target me. They're going to hit me as soon as I go up here, too. Um, yeah, see? Oh, and there we go, because there's a turret I didn't see that got right through that gap. Now I'm dead and my checkpoint restarts. You can see my frustration. Like, yes, I understand, but at the same time, this is the end game. Like, there should be better equipment. And the other thing is the equipment's based on a rarity system. So when you craft it, you have a chance of getting a higher one, but there's nothing in the game to influence whether you get a higher chance any or anything. There's no skill, there's no, like, better materials you can throw at it. Um, the game's fine, it just feels like it's a PS2 or a PS3 game, like... 
it's missing a lot of quality of life stuff that it tries to do and doesn't do very well in my opinion. Like I I'd recommend this game for like 20 bucks maybe. If you're a One Piece fan, it's a pretty good game. Uh, but if you as demonstrated in my earlier videos that I showed or that I first played this it's kind of um it's really rough in the beginning because they just start off with like nothing. And when you slowly get more abilities, the game becomes better, but I don't know. It's it feels like growing pains, which I'm okay with. Um, I don't think it lives up to the hype, but I also don't think it's a bad game. I just think it's got some stuff that it doesn't need. Like there's a thing I had to keep doing because um, two of the skills I needed to do, or two of the things I needed to do for the karma was um, perform a takedown on Smoker, and then um, perform Gum Gum Eagle Storm on uh, which is one of the special attacks here on Crocodile. So Crocodile will spawn right here, except obviously as you can see right now, he doesn't spawn all the time. And the same thing was with Smoker, so I would keep spawning here, then going over here, and Smoker spawns like right there, so you can see like right as soon as you spawn. I would go and I would do a takedown Smoker, and then foolishly I would try and fight him, and like, you know, I've already beaten him in the story a bunch of times, and uh, I'd get close, and then he's Smoker's also surrounded by, like, 10, 20 guards who keep, like, taking pot shots and stuff. But uh, I got really annoyed because Smoker did a one-hit KO. He did, like, a ranged attack, and he just, like, killed me in one shot. And then Crocodile did a similar thing. And then after going back and forth spawning them and them not spawning, finally I was just like, fuck it. So I did a takedown Smoker, didn't kill him, just like, fuck And I was like, I don't care. I just ran away. I did the same thing with Crocodile after using the move on him. So that's great. Um, really good game design if that's what I'm doing. Okay, we've got... So this actually increases the melee damage I take, but it has better range damage protection. And it increases observation mode attack, which I don't care about because I don't want it. Um, incoming melee, incoming range. This is just a good um, thing. Okay, so, so you can see I got a regular... Grade one. I'm gonna keep doing this and see if I get a plus one. I'm not. This is bullshit. And then if you can't make it, it'll disappear. Um, incoming range damage, incoming melee. So this is the same thing, but just the lower grade of it. Um, but if I get a plus version, then it's not gonna matter, but I'm not gonna get it because this game fucking hates me. Jesus Christ. I swear, every single thing I've crafted since coming back to this game has. N I've not gotten a single plus version. This is actually ridiculous. How rare is this? I got so many plus versions when I played this earlier. What the ever loving fuck? What did I do to hurt you, Frankie? Alright, we're gonna assemble all of those. Alright, I made one of these already. I only need two. Alright, I only need one, I should say. Get rid of all these mantra belts, and then of course the cursor doesn't stay on it because that would be ridiculous. If I if I'm not scrolling down every time, then how is this even really uh, a good thing? Oh my god, I hate it. Like, it just give me the option to just use more materials to make it better, or give me the option to use rare materials instead of, instead of giving me multiple versions of the same fucking item. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Um, I was gonna spell anything that I have more than one of. Like, obviously I had to make multiples before, which is fine, but it's like, starter equipment that I get plus plus shouldn't be better than the brand new shit I'm equipped, like, crafting. This is nonsense. This is like a really big complaint I have. Especially since I'm made of goddamn paper. Alright, we can make another mantra belt, we can only make one. Um, and I can't make one of the other versions of this. The other thing too is there's no way to buy materials. I'm like, I would be fine with this, but there's no currency in this game, so it's like, I have to just earn them manually. And end game, they give you a bunch of like their more rare materials. Like I have a fuck ton of gems you can see. But like the common materials you like never find anymore. I'm constantly running low on bronze ore. Um so I'm a bit peeved. I hate you. I hate everything about you. Yeah, let's make a combat badge. Nope. I get plenty of these materials. Okay, now I get a combat badge plus plus. That's what I mean. It's literally just random. Um, okay. Let's see what will def defend me. And works with my current thing. Muscle belts, kind of. 
Not as much as I'd like it to. Um, some of these are, wor are better or worse. Alright. Well, that was a big fucking waste of time. Uh, let's see. Equipment. So I've got the Power Ring Plus Plus, which I think I just crafted another one of because I'm stupid. Um, yep. We've got the Guard Belt Plus, which isn't terrible. That's the one I have earlier. Combat Badge Plus Plus. I just got another Plus Plus, didn't I? Oh, here we go. Combat Badge Plus Plus. Uh, oh. So this is better than that one by a lot. That's good. That literally just like a straight up increase. I like that. That's not bad. It's good because I already had it equipped, but now I have to take something else off. Um, let's see. This is probably the worst item. So my attack is better, or my attack's fine, but what would happen if I just equipped another big old thing here? Yeah, it wouldn't be as good as that, and then the power boost is the same, so that's not worth it. Um, what about the guard belts? Nope, the guard belt isn't as good as the mantra belts. And then, okay. And my arm and hockey would take a serious hit. What about the, if I put the knuckle ring here? Okay, so it's currently at 892. That was the highest it was at, and now it's back to, it's now in 670, which isn't good. That's what I mean. It's like, just give me something that increases all of these, or give me a better version of that. Like, the bonuses for getting a plus item are ridiculous. Um, okay. We're going to go back here. I'm going to try and... Uh, oh, I might be better to do it somewhere that's more open. I think this is where some CP9 agents are, too. It might be easier to predict their movements. It's hard to perfect block people who have guns, because especially um, automatic weapons, because they're harder to like predict. And then the snipers, it's it's also hard to predict them because the shot goes off very fast. Um, so we'll see. I didn't really mess with perfect dodge yet, but thirty. It's that's what's so weird. Some of the trophies in this are super low. Like, oh, just get 30 of these. I'm like, alright. And then some of them are like, get fuck, do this for 30 minutes. There's already one for doing, I forget what the trophy is. Um, I should have it up, but I don't. For, like, using the gum gum rocket for, like, something consecutive seconds. I want to say it's 30 seconds in a row. Um, I think this is one of the things I got. Okay, um, hang on, I know it's loud, acquire, protect, destroy, one, I don't remember what this was, I know I had to do a trophy, oh, fly for five seconds during a single gum gum rocket without landing, which, you know, that one I'm more okay with, that seems, that's more traditional, but don't make me do shit, <laughs> don't make me do this. And then again, this part doesn't count, which is annoying. They literally mean straight gum gum rocket, and I already have the most, um, all the abilities for it. Like, this is the most it gets. Like, it doesn't increase beyond this. Right, I can't find anything there either. I'm gonna keep going back here. At least this will checkpoint me. But yeah, so, I got a couple two OVs left. I'll have this one before November for sure. I'll, I'll probably have it in a few weeks. But it's just, the big one's gonna be the treasure hunting. Because there's not really any good guides for it. Like, Power Picks didn't fucking pick this game up, which sucks. Um, there's some scattered ones here and there by, like, amateurs, I should say. Um, but it's they're not for every area, so I'm gonna have to look a little harder. My PS4 needs to calm the fuck down. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna grab these treasure chests. We're gonna get out of here. Actually, I might be able to perfect guard this. Oh, I saw it, and I didn't. I'll take this jabroni up first. I kind of preferred being a glass cannon, but then I'd rather not lose progress. Okay. Oh, nope. I'm out. See ya. Okay. I think there's a treasure, like, right here. Yeah. Now, I could try and take the treasure, but it's not going to work very well for me. This guy's going to throw an explosive, but I don't think I can guard that. Oh, I can, but I, it's hard to perfect guard it. I think I can use Zuka. I never use that move. Um, oh, actually, I've got a really good move for the peons, which is just 
I don't know the range on this, though. I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, PX9 is still... Or PX0. So, uh, this is the ranged attack, sort of. It's the, um... It's the only one he can really use. And it does make sense. Um... But it's just... it's It works sometimes. Sometimes it's overpowered. Also, they don't give terrible skill points. That's not bad. Um... Alright, let's see. It's hard to do it against these guys. And also, I want to be in a spot where not everyone can see me. Yeah, let me try and demonstrate this. There we go. That's a perfect guard. Or a perfect guard. It basically becomes slow motion for a second. Um, I think it's easier to do with melee attackers, truth be told. But, I don't mind trying. Yeah, and... The timing's off. There's no, like... There's no, like, indicator that they're about to fire, other than the, they'll just aim at you. Yeah, so... I'm not gonna do it with these guys. Um, it's not too, too hard to get. I'm not really a counter guy. Like, when it comes to countering in these kind of games, that's not really my... my operandus. Alright, yeah, that was interesting. I didn't know they could hit each other. Oh, there we go. I think you can just trigger that mode, too. Um, it's one of your observation modes. I want to say it's this one. It's focus, I think. So if you just do that, you can just trigger that mode indefinitely. But it also takes a meter. I should say indefinitely. Um, so it's not infinite. But you can force it to activate, which is nice. That's two more. Um, I think there's a treasure up top here. And there's also a mini boss, if I remember correctly. Oh, CB9 agents, deep. Oh, I, I thought I had more, um, oh, I got a takedown, that's good. I thought I had more meter than I did. But they should be easier to counter. If they do their flying attack, it'll be very easy to go against them. But they're not doing it. It's gonna keep pointing at me. Only like fucking 50 more to go of those guys. Alright, so that's done. Oh, no, there's another one. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. It's right in front of the, uh... These things. Whiff. Alright. The other option is just to... I'm just gonna not do that. Let's just grab the treasure and go. Okay, I don't think I killed them yet. That's why that's annoying. I think that one calls for backup. He's got a pistol, which would make it... You'd think he'd be easy to counter. Because uh, he does have to wind up with it. There we go. Alright, I might just do that a couple more times until his friend shows up. It's the window for it's not too, too hard. Come on, I want to get a trophy and a platinum project for once. Yeah, this is definitely the best enemy to do this against. Just because he's got such a clear wind up. Now, the problem is, I'm gonna, I can do this with guarding because I've gotten the timing of that because I'm always in arm and hockey but can I get the timing in perfect dodge which is the other version of it let's see after this this is literally like the perfect setup for this oh I missed it as long as those other guys don't actually catch up to us oh boy that sounded so oh my god when did you get here oh this is what I don't like sometimes it'll like mess with the uh with this, like it won't work the way it's supposed to. Yeah, let's see if this works this time. There we go. Did I get him? Hey friend, it's me again. <clears throat> Listen, you help me train, and everything will be fine. Is that not 30 yet? Come on. Three steps. Aim. Fire. Three steps. Two. Three. 
tame fire. Do I actually have to? Oh, there we go. All right, so that's the guard. Let's see if it dodge works in a similar way. Okay, so this is the dodge, which obviously works different. But I'm curious what the timing is on it. Oh, yep, same thing. All right, well, I'm going to keep exploiting this um, since it's easy and here. Um, I guess, I mean, honestly, I don't know how much more of a video I've got because it's just going to be doing that 28 more times. <laughs> All right, uh, so thank you. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a follow-up with this one because um, there's more treasure to do, but that's mostly just offline, just searching, looking at videos. Straw Hat Exploration one's almost done. The flyaway gum gum thing's gonna suck. Learning all the skills is gonna, is gonna suck. Um, and reaching pirate rank 100 is gonna suck. But overall, I mean, the Platinum has like a 37 rate. What is it? 35% completion rate. So it's not a hard Platinum for people who bought the game, but it's still surprising. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the July Patreon. Uh, and YouTube sub. Thank you guys once again for another amazing month. The anniversary stream went wait, went wait, wait that went great. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, I want to thank um, Annie, Norm P, Sean, and Rev for the one dollar. Carlos for the two. Azor for the three. Happy for the five. Uh, Mons for the five as well. And then uh, I'm trying to do it from memory. Hold on. Sir Anyak, Connor Silverwald, and Sean Thomason for the ten dollars. And Stir the top their throne. We have Michael Smith and John Barnett with a fifteen dollars each. Thank you guys so much. Love you all. Uh, and then for YouTube, <clears throat> we have C Miller, Mayo with the one month, Michael Smith, Electric Narwhal, Rap Tax for four months, and then John Barnett, Louisa, Sir Eniac, and Maz with the five months. You guys are almost Metal Greymon, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, thank you guys again. Don't forget, if you uh, put $5 down on YouTube, or if you put even as low as a dollar on Patreon, you get access to a special tab in the Discord. It's a secret, don't let anyone know about it. Um, that you can see all the early videos uh, and stuff there, so lots of fun. Like, I just recorded nine videos yesterday. It's not I'm not going to release nine videos publicly today, but those will be up, you know, within the next couple days. So, you know, if you want to see your early videos, if you're like, damn, Nick just doesn't upload enough videos, he doesn't upload fast enough. When can I see the next Metal Gear Solid video that we all clamor for? I th There you go. Go on Patreon or YouTube, either. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys, and I can't wait to see you in the next month. Goodbye.